want to get a couple more songs. Yeah, man. If we can. I got one here. All right. A new one for you. Future ain't what it used to be no more. Cause nothing's gonna be the way it was before. Where we were headed is no longer found. We were climbing a ladder to a hole in the ground. The future ain't what it used to be no more. I had my eyes on the prize, headed for the finish line. I knew just around the corner the dream was mine. But then the world flipped around, slowed me down. But I got a good look at what I need. I must say I'm glad to see you changing me. Just around the corner, the dream was mine. But then the world flipped around, slowed me down. But I got a good look at what I need. I must say I'm glad to see you changing me. Cause our future ain't what it used to be no more. Cause nothing's gonna be the way it was before. Longer found that we were climbing a ladder to a hole in the ground. The future ain't what it used to be no more. The future ain't what it used to be no more. Yeah, maybe I finally found what I'm looking for. The future ain't what it used to be no more. Seth Walker on WNCW. Wow, what timing. We were talking about what this fall is going to be like and the new normal and all, and you whip out that one. The future ain't what it used to be Mm-mm. no more. Mm-hmm. You wrote that uh, pretty mm-hmm. recently, I, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, wrote that during the... Makes sense. Yes. Uh, uh, is it one of a number of tunes that you've written that kind of inspired by this year? Yeah. That'll be showing yeah. up in the mm-hmm. new one? Yeah, I, I, I've written... Um... Yeah, I wrote uh, maybe five or six. I wrote one called The Valley with Oliver Wood. Um, and I wrote another one called I Hope I Know <laughs> uh, that's, that's also come out. Another one I wrote with Ollie. Actually, Oliver wrote the introduction to that book, too. Yeah, I see that. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. you got a good Wood Brothers connection. Uh, John O'Rix uh, produced mm-hmm. your last one, yeah. right? Uh, Are You Open? And uh, yeah. your sound just meshes so well with, with all the Wood Brothers. And then I have uh, Oliver write the forward for your book. It was what? cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, he's, and he's got such a, he's got, what a, what a gift. Um, such a poetic sense, you know. And uh, he was all nervous about writing it at first. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, I've never written anything like this. And he sends me this and it's just, it's just perfect. Huh. Um, but yeah, I, I resonate with their, their it's inspiring. Um 
such a a soulful thing that they do that's so unique and creative. I've always admired them. First time I played with them was in Ames, Iowa, in 2006. And we've been running ever since, you know, just uh, or just kind of orbiting around each other. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, but in that one, boy, do I hear your great uh, blues background in that too oh, with thank your, your you. guitar work for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Any you. other um, kind of new discoveries for you musically this past year since you've maybe had a little more free time since you're not on the road and such? Busy yeah. writing the book, but maybe you've discovered some new musicians. Uh, let's see. Um, Gosh, you mean other musicians that I've been listening to? Yeah, or or, or inspirations, influences. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're a lot more into some other style. Well, I, I will say that um, I have, strangely enough, uh, playing so much solo stuff because I, you know, I haven't been playing with a band at all, and and um, and not being on the road, I've been doing these lot some live shows, and I found I found I found myself almost a little more relaxed <laughs> doing these live shows because well on the road is, is, you know, it can be nerve wracking out there sometimes. And I found myself ironically, even though it's, I missed all the, the connection of the actual fans and I know I'm staring into a computer box and all that stuff, but I found myself really enjoying playing solo and just kind of relaxing it, relaxing into it. And so the new album has a lot of that feel. So it's not very produced. It's very much like what I'm doing today. Yeah, right on. So that has been inspiring to me to try to embrace the space, you know, and just not try to just and not try to just uh, force. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're doing the live streams here and there. You've got this one uh, socially distanced at ISIS on mm-hmm. on Valentine's Day the 14th. Yeah, you're doing a couple of similar ones the night before, or the day before, down on the Carolina coast somewhere, Bluffton, yeah, South Carolina. yeah, yeah, near Hilton Head. Yeah, that's a good little spot. Okay. Yeah. So just just a few things, though, man. I mean, I, there's not much. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm supposed to go to abroad at the end of the year. Uh, to do a European tour, but I don't know. We'll just mm. be trained what it used to be. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, good on you for uh, taking the time to to make lemonade out of lemons, and you got your free time. You've got these writings you've had around from from blogs and journal entries. Mm-hmm. Why not write a book? And uh, we're really pleased you've you've brought us a copy. Your van, yeah, man. Your van is on fire. It's Seth Walker's first book here.